Good evening, everybody from Harrison High School here in Harrison. We welcome you to Friday Night Football on ICRC as the Harrison Wildcats on Junior Football Night in front of a very large and very excited crowd here. They've been here for about 45 minutes. They take on the Tala won the Bray, the battle of one of the better passing offenses against one of the better receiving, de rushing defenses, rather, in the league. Rob Johnson here covering for you week six in Southwest Ohio Conference. Play is about to get underway. Um, like I said, we're part of a game here with one of the better passing offenses in the league, and that is what Harrison needs to stop. Hayden Markham is the guy they need to stop. Five touchdown passes already this season. Kale, Kale Leitch, the quarterback, almost 700 passing yards and seven touchdowns. Um, a rushing defense offense for Harrison is what Talawanda needs to stop. They have combined for over 1,000 rushing yards so far. And Luke Rogers, 800 all-purpose yards. We'll get going after the break. Hello, everyone, and welcome to ICRC TV Sports. The Wildcats come up big. Lead off taken, and we're going for the stolen base. Well, pretty exciting, especially if you're a Harrison Wildcats fan. And we're back after a back and we're back after a little bit of technical difficulties. My apologies for that. Looks like the guy in with the cell phone that just woke up didn't really want to wake up, right? <laughs> anyway, Rob Johnson back with you. Harrison High School, the site for some beautiful weather. Too. It's gonna be a little crisp at the end of the game, but a few clouds hanging around. But that, that doesn't stop this crowd that's been here. I got here an hour ago at six o'clock. And the crowds were electric already. They've been ready, they've been pumped for some Southwest Ohio Conference football. Like we were talking about earlier, the um, keys of the game were for Harrison. Um, Harrison's got, got a better rushing offense than a passing offense. Even though Luke Rogers has 412 yards rushing, he does have nearly 400 yards passing, three touchdowns. So he is their double threat for Harrison's offense. It looks like we're going to get our first look at that offense right now. It looks as if 89 for Talawanda is going to kick off. That would be Nico Mata is set to kick off for Talawanda. Looking out at the crowd on the Talawanda side, they brought out a really good crowd too from the Oxford area. 
is Nico Maka. You know, you see some of the crowd here. Like I said, we've been, I've been here for about an hour, and I've never seen a crowd this big an hour in. The student section I'm looking at the left is pumped up. We're ready for football. Here we go. Taking the ball for Harrison. Looks like 38 got it. That would be Aiden McKendrick. McKendrick, I'm sorry. As we now take a look at a Harrison offense um, that had a little bit of trouble last week. They lost 31-17 to Clint Massey. We're going to get our first look here at Luke Rogers. Now look for him. He can pass. He can run. He's got five combined touchdowns, 800 all-purpose yards so far, and he is going to get the snap. And looks like Talon was trying to draw them off sides here. As we got from the 30. Give the ball. Looks like four. Cole Coops. Cole Coops with the ball there. He's got 225 rushing yards this season. He just added a few more to that total. At least nine on the play. So he's up to 233, right? Um, second and short. Going to be from the 39-yard line. Just a great run up the middle. There you can see the starting offense. Like I said, Luke for number nine, Luke Rogers, to figure out how they're going to beat Talawanda tonight. The second and short from the 39. Give the ball right there. Looks like a stop right there. How about that? They were able to stop Cole Coops. Um, and it looks like they are going to move the chains. He did get the first down. 41-yard line. Game of two. Kind of looked like from my vantage point that he was short, but... What are you going to do? First and 10 from the 41. And Luke Rogers is ready to snap the ball off. Give the ball to number two. That be Cohen Herring. Fumble on the play, but it was blown dead before the fumble. Cohen Herring, by the way, 303 rushing yards to begin festivities tonight. Three rushing touchdowns of his own. It looks like they are going for the run game right away. Um, that was a game of three on the play, second and seven. Rogers going to go again. Change of the play there. Looks like Derek Rehag, the head coach of Harrison, giving him the play. So we go second and seven. And Rogers going to keep the ball himself. And nice little go to the 50. And looks like he'll get the first down right there. Um, 23 was the guy in the coverage, DJ Morris Williams for the Brave of Tatawanda. It was enough to pick up the first down there at the 46 yard line, right to the left side of the H on the center score line. A couple minutes in, glad you're here with us on ICRC TV. Getting a good barn burner here. As he gives the ball, that's number two, Cohen Herring. Number Very two, nice run there. The Looks like number 12 was, number 12, 12, Heath Powell. Powell was on the coverage for Talawanda, and he'll pick up six on the play, take the ball to the 43. And there's that run offense that I kept talking about earlier in the, um, early on in the keys of the game. You gotta stop that run. Looks like Talawanda is not doing a good job so far. Rogers is gonna keep the ball himself, get to the 40. They're signaling fumble though. The play, it was forced down. 65 for Talawanda. That's Caleb Kuykendall. Oh, and they say Talawanda's got the ball. Caleb Kuykendall in there for Talawanda, forcing the play. The fumble on the play, so a miscue for Harrison as we get going here. And now here comes Talawanda's offense. They are more passing than rushing. Um, Kale Leitch, their um, quarterback, he's number seven for the red and white. Um, look for him to pass the ball to Hayden Markham a lot in this, number 10. Um, Kale, Kale has seven touchdowns passing, and five of them went to Hayden Markham. And it looks like he's gonna go 
straight to Hayden Markham, but it was a little too high and complete. Coverage on that play were by five and 21. Five for Harrison, Jaden Thompson, 21 for Harrison would be Ben Smith. So we'll call it second and 10, keep the ball up to 40. Got a ref, we got an official timeout. We don't know what's going on here. Here's the Talawanda offense, and like I said, this is a more of a passing game. It's going to be passing versus rushing. Talawanda's good at the pass. Kale Leitch, number seven. Look for him to give the ball to number 10, Hayden Markham, as I mentioned. Let's see how they give it to now. It's going to be a keeper. Oh, it's going to be some trickery on the play. Ending up with the ball for Talawanda is number 27. That would be Dequan Robertson. Dequan Robertson, the ball carrier. Tripped up at the line of scrimmage by number zero. Zero. Big goose egg for Donovan McCain on his jersey, but big play on the field for the Wildcats to stop the ball. And it's third down now for Talawanda. That was no gain on that run. Great job by the Harrison defense there. We keep the ball at the 40. Let's see what they do with it on third down. Might go for a pass here, and he will. It was 45, too tall for him. 45 for Talawanda is Jackson Ritchie. It was too, way too tall. Great defense of the ball by, let's call it number five for Harrison. That's Jaden Thompson. So great defensive stop to force a three and out and no yardage on that play. So we're gonna have 52 for Talawanda. Joe Clare back to punt. Looks like two is back to receive for Harrison. That'd be Cohen Herring. And they'll, and they'll take a Talawanda tumble to the 25, let's call it the 23. Let's take a look now at the Harrison Wildcats. So little fumble ruski on the last play, recovered by Talawanda defense. No harm done there. And Harrison's back on the offensive. Looks like we're gonna try to trick them up a little bit. We got three on the white side. They're not afraid to throw the ball either. Rogers has 400 yards passing so far, midway through the season. And a flag comes down, it looks like. Harrison got Talawanda to go off sides. It's a five yard penalty. First and five for the Wildcats. We got 8.37 to go in the opening quarter. And the ball is at the 28 yard line. So back comes Harrison after a few yards. Three wide out set to the front of you. Looks like it's gonna be a pass play, exactly what it is. Number two, that's Cohen Herring. Are they? Yeah, the pass was complete to Cohen Herring. Great job on the defense there to keep it on the ground. Here's the Talawanda Braves starting defense. DJ Morris Williams, I've already seen. Caleb Kuykendall, I've already seen out there. They are really great defense. Forcing that fumble in that first drive for Harrison. As we'll make it second and six as a 27. As Luke Rogers gonna keep it himself. Great run there. Evaded a couple tackles, finally getting taken down by Blake Dethelridge, number 33 for Talawanda. And they are gonna move to six. It's a first down for Harrison. All right, so they're at the 27. About a third of the way through the first quarter here in Harrison. I can barely hear myself to the crowd. It's such a great crowd tonight. And we'll give the ball to Cole Coops. Coops gonna keep it on the ground and grab a few yards. Heath Powell on the tackle there for the Brave. It's gonna set up a second and 10 at the 
Now, excuse me, it's going to be a three yard gain at the 37. So we're looking deep here. All right, and I got one, probably keep it on the ground. He will give the ball back to number four, Cole Coops. And Coops is going to give himself a first down, maybe more, being dragged down by about two or three defenders, led by number nine from Tallawanda. That would be Connor Brozy. But it's going to be a first down for Harrison. That run game just keeps chugging along as we move forward in the opening quarter play. Wait a minute, we got a penalty marker down on the field. Let's see what it's on. It looks like they're going backwards, so I think that great run by Cole Coops is going to be negated by a penalty. Yes, they will. I don't know what the call is. I believe it's going to be a hold. But it's going to be taking them back to the 26-yard line. It's second and seven. Not second and 18, rather. Um, see what we got here. Just hit the seven-minute mark in the first quarter. And Rogers gonna air it out, and that's number, number 42 nine, for nine, Harrison. He got knocked three, backwards. Two, Kyle Hayter. He was tackled by 38 Jason White on the play. We're gonna have a third and 18 from the 26. They got knocked backwards a yard on that pass play. So here's an important third down. The student section for Talawanda is already yelling out their defense, defense chance. Trying to figure out what to do for Harrison. There are three wideouts to the front, one to the back. He's going to try to air it out. No, he may. Oh, no, he's going to keep it himself. But well, it would not be enough for first down yardage, but it was a great catch there by number seven. Number Corey nine, Helms for Harrison. Logan Howard on the play the for Talawanda. As we'll go fourth down here, fourth down and five from the 39 yard line. Talawanda getting the ball back. And back to punt for the Wildcats, number 10, Jackson Williams. Jackson Williams handling the punt coverage for. Harrison for Talawanda. Brave, Logan, Logan Howard going to do that for Talawanda. Let's see what happens here on this Jackson Williams punt. Ooh, great hating time for Jackson Williams. It's going to take a, a Harrison bounce. Ooh, nice. It's going to go near the 10 yard line. And Harris Talawanda is going to be pinned way back there around the 11 or 12 yard line. 25 Cooper Ives on the coverage. The roll was covered by him. Before it went out, before it went out of bounds. So they're gonna set the ball at the 12 yard line. And here, and Talawanda gets the ball. Great setup, right in front of, right in front of a truck. They got a snow cone machine, an automated one. I gotta get myself one at halftime. Um, we got a run here. We got a run on the play. Um, I'm having trouble seeing. That looks like 27. Daquan Robertson. Jaden Thompson taking the tackle for Harrison along with 52, Joe Banks. And that is a two yard gain on the play, so they'll put the ball at the 14 yard line, make it second and eight. Talawan is setting up rather equally. They're overloading the far side there as, ooh, Kale Leitch almost connecting. There's a penalty Kale Leach, the rather. There's a penalty marker down. My apologies, Mr. Leach. 
Penalty marker is holding. It is holding against, against Harrison. And the crowd, you can hear the crowd right in front of me. I got the windows up in here in the press box and you can hear them. They did not like that call. So I'm checking the scoreboard to see holding against Harrison is the call that our referee is calling. So it's gonna move the ball to first down yardage and we've and we're gonna put the ball at, where are they moving the ball to? Looks like the 19, so it'll be at the 19 yard line, first down, 24 rather, first down. And here comes Robertson, it looks like. He's found a hole, but it's shut down immediately by the Harrison defensive line. Owen King is going to be credited for the defensive stop there. One yard gain on the play. We put the ball at the 25. So, so far, a rather interesting matchup here. I was expecting them to go to a shootout. Doesn't look to be that way so far as we are almost to the end of the first quarter. Get the ball to Robertson. He's found a hole, but not much of one. Just short of the 30 yard line. Number 27, Devon Robertson. The ball carrier tack on the play by number 66. 66 again, Owen King, King for Talib, for Harrison. Uh, 66, I'm sorry. Logan White for Harrison. Maybe the wrong, wrong roster. But we got a third and four at the 30 yard line. For Talawanda, as they get back on it. Talawanda, their head coach is Jay Volker. Calling the plays, the OC is Justin Beers. And it's complete. Complete to Hayden Markham, taken out of bounds. He'll, it looks like they'll move the chains there. Jaden Thompson on the tackle, but it was not enough to keep them from punting, it is a Talawanda first down. 2.35 to go in their opening quarter. Fans playing pretty good, huh? <laughs> Give it to Robertson. Tackle made, it looks like 30 is gonna get credit for that tackle. DJ Hurt is the Man who made the stop for DJ Clark, rather, for Harrison. That is a five yard gain on the play, so the ball goes to the 44. It'll be second down. There's Robertson again. Daquan Robertson having a heck of a show so far for, for Talawanda. Will Reed, the ball carrier. There was Will Reed with the ball carrier now. Tackle and that one, by number 46, Chris Luce. Chris Luce Brings up a was the, the man who made the stop for Harrison, sets up a third and three for Talawanda. And don't let the Quan Robertson fool you. Um, Robertson had a heck of a game last, a tuck last week, a touchdown there. Daquan Robertson, as Will Reed was the ball carrier there. The DJ Clark tackling. Robertson ha having a great year so far, three touchdowns, had a 44 yard run that was his longest he's averaging 60 yards a game his backfield partner will read there last week he had a touchdown go along with 42 yards he's got 80 rushing yards and a penalty marker is down 
There's a penalty flag on the play, offsides in the Wildcats. And it looks like Harrison is going to be called for offside, so we're going to be moving the sticks here to the 48. First down to Talawanda. As we have 20 seconds and counting remaining in the first quarter. And it looks like they'll be able to get one more play. Look for a second like they're discontent with letting the ball run, clock run out on this quarter. Leach is ready to throw again. He's flushed out of the pocket by 52, and he's going to get him out of bounds. How about that? 52, Joe Banks. Ooh, Joe Banks, big Joe Banks already had a couple of tackles, big tackles for big-time stops. That play was so good, even the PA announcer over here was excited. And I'm a public dress announcer myself. St. Bernard High School is my home base. I, it's cool to get a little excited in the press box. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the first quarter. We have nothing on the clock. And we'll take a break. We'll get back with you in just a minute. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. All right, we're back. Second quarter. Getting re we weren't really ready for that one, but we're ready now as Daquan Robertson will be taken back way past the line of scrimmage there. Number zero. Donovan McCain and Joe Banks setting up that big time loss. It's a loss of It's a big loss. We're at the third and 23 at the 39. PA okay, guy doing his best to rile up the crowd <laughs> next to me here. So we got third and 23. Oh, that's complete. 24. Back to the original line of scrimmage, maybe a couple yards back. Graden Glass on that one. Dominic Lindsay and Ryan Jacobs, 14 and 24 respectively, make the stop. That forces Talawan to the punt. Sets up fourth and forever for the Brave. Cohen Herring back to return this kick by Oh, fumble Ruski there, but he got the hang time. It goes out. Oh, it's going to take a... No oh, it took a Talawanda tumble to the five-yard line. Cohen Herring was able to get the ball before Talawanda was able to get a hold of it. It looked like he dropped the initial kick there as he was trying to return it, and then the ball went backwards. He was able to down it. So we're going to have... Harrison with not so friendly field position at the five yard line. First down. We are at Wildcat Stadium here in Harrison, Ohio, on the Ohio side of the city of Harrison. Um, those unfamiliar with the map. Harrison straddles both Indiana and Ohio. We're on the Ohio side. Well, did you know there? As we get the ball from this position here, it looks like it's number, number four, Cole, Cole Coops. By number nine, Connor Brosey. 
is the man who makes the stop for Tawanda. Um, no, very little gain. They're going to call it a one-yard gain. Second and six now for Harrison. I'm looking right in front of them right now. We've got one wide out to the left and to the right. So they'll give the ball on the run. Looks like Luke Rogers is going to get the quarterback keeper. He was tripped up by Ryan Wright for the Talawanda Braves. That sets up a third down after a four yard game. They'll move the ball to, looks like the 10 yard line. They need five yards. Let's see what they do it on third and five. And Luke Rogers is gonna keep it himself. And a flag going there as there's a little bit of chippiness after that play. Ryan Wright taking, Ryan Wright stopping another Luke Rogers quarterback keeper from getting to the first down marker. There is a penalty flag that was down in the play. Let's see what it is from the referees. Referees are conferring. Coaching staff of Talawanda, the head coach, Jay Volker, out there. And it looks like holding will be called against Talawanda. And that yardage means we're going to have a Harrison first down. So it'll be first down for Harrison. We're going to put the ball at the 25-yard line. And Jay Volker, the head coach, getting a explanation there from the referee a little chippiness there at the end of that play it's great spirit out there between these two teams mount healthy of course being harrison's main rival that that's comes later on right now it's talawanda as luke rogers is getting ready to throw throw he keeps it himself and he's going to give himself up but he's going to lose a yard. Blake Dethridge, the initial stop that pushed him out of bounds. So it's going to be a loss of two on the play. We'll put the ball at the loss of one, rather, sorry. And we'll put the ball at the 24 yard line. Let's see what Harrison comes up with. He, they've got the three wide out front here. I see number two, Cohen Herring, in the middle there. 17 is Dom Frondorf. Rogers is going to keep it himself, though. He misses one tackle. That's going to be a pass. It's going to be complete to number seven. Oh, he was that close to being gone. Corey Helms. Flag down in the backfield, though. And this one could be headed back. That was a definitely great catch, no matter what the result. And a great run at the end of that catch by number seven, Corey Helms. They're calling it a spot foul. And Harrison's going to get called for illegal block in the back. And a spot foul. The Harrison crowd does not like it. I, on, on the Harrison side of the bench, as soon as that was announced, the crowd started booing. They love Harrison football here in Harrison, Ohio, and it shows. So after the penalty, it goes to the 26th. It's second and nine from that spot. It was a spot foul on that hold, so no harm done in terms of yardage loss. But negated a really great pass. Oh, look at that! 42 on that one. Kyle, Kyle Hader. 
And they are gonna move the sticks on that one. Beautiful pass there to, from Luke Rogers to Kyle Hayer. That puts the ball at the 45, so it's going to be a 29-yard pass play, and a penalty marker went down right in the front side. But probably it's just going to be a sideline side warning. Sideline warning. Side warning on Harrison. The They're a little bit too close to the strike. And the get-back coaches are all on them. You can just see what's going on down there. <laughs> They're, they got caught not where they were supposed to be as the ball goes back to Cole Coops. Coops will pick up a number few four, yards. Cole Coops, the ball carrier, attack on the play by number 48. He'll get taken down by 48 for, 46 rather for Talawanda. That's Tad, Tad Pollard. Pollard calling his name for the first time, even though I've seen him make some significant moves on the defensive side. So Harrison's kind of beat the Talawanda at their own game. Even though they've gotten a rather healthy amount of rushing yardage. There's 7.17 to go in the second quarter. And we're looking at Harrison on the Talawanda side of things. Second and seven from the 42. Rogers is gonna keep the ball himself. And, oh, he got tripped up. He could have been gone there, but 46 for Talawanda. Jack Tad Polly went after him and tripped him up. But there's a good side to all that. Harrison picks up a first down as we see the look there, as we see the play there. Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe not, but um, there's all over the play. He gets a first down from the 33. And another penalty marker down. A penalty flag on the play to be offside on the Brave. The Brave will be called for Penalty's offside. First and five for the Wildcats. So a first and 10 becomes a first and five, and the ball goes to the 28. Just about halfway through the second quarter of play. So let's see what they do. They got three receivers to the far side of me. Here, Luke Rogers does here. Quick pass to 16. Oh, who is that? Number nine, Luke Rogers pass complete to number 18, Brian Guthrie. Brian Guthrie the was the recipient of that play. Blake Dethridge, who's on the play is another Wildcat. Blake Dethridge was on the call, was on the tackle there as you see that great run by Brian Guthrie to pick up the first down there. So we're all not quite in the red zone. They're on the 21 yard line, first and 10. Ball goes on a shovel to Cohen Herring. Number nine, Luke Rogers pass complete to number two. They'll call the pass. They're calling Connor Brozzi and, and number 25. Uh, 25 on the roster. Brayden Glass, number 25. I have him as 24 in here. But he's number 25. We'll him at home. So we got second and 10 from the 21 yard line. As Luke Rogers, the carrier. Number nine, Jason Rogers, Frank and. Play by number 13, Jason Frank. And 34, and Sammy Dillon, going to cut the call for that one as we look at the snow cone machine being used by some of the youth cheerleaders. It's youth cheerleading and youth football night here at Harrison. There is a really good football community here in Harrison, and they are honoring all of them. It took about, there were about 600 names that the public address announcer used to introduce everybody. So. 
pretty good com football community here. Shovel pass from Rogers to Herring. Number two, Colin Herring, the ball carrier. Tad Polly looks like he got the credit for the tackle for Talawanda as we reach the four minute mark of the second quarter. This is the deepest that anyone's been driving in this game, so I guess they ignored my shootout prediction there. And now we have a timeout called by Talawanda. That is their first timeout of this Talawanda. half. So to reset here, nothing, nothing. 3.50 to go in the second quarter. Um, it's been as advertised. A great run game by Redding. No, by Redding, the only thing. This is Harrison. Great run game by Harrison against a really great air attack by Talawanda. Just hasn't been able to get on, off the ground today. But there are about 27 minutes left for Talawanda to do something about that. Give you, I'm going to give you a second to hear this wonderful atmosphere that I keep on talking about with Harrison. It'll be a fourth and four from the 15. Oh yeah, you can feel it in the air tonight. <laughs> And, we're, and a penalty marker down. And false start against Harrison. So we'll find, so that might change the plans up for Harrison here. It's now fourth and nine from the 20. Let's see what goes down here. They're gonna go for it on fourth and nine. Oh. They go on the line, they got three receivers out there. See what happens here as Rogers. A long pass, who's got it? In the end zone, touchdown, Harrison! And as I catch my breath on that remarkable pass to Brian Guthrie, great on fourth and nine. The passing game wins on that one. Remember, I told you before the game, as we take a look at the touchdown here, great. He had number six on him, Demetrius Morris Williams covering him, but he still caught the ball. Extra point, Will split the uprights. Ref raises his hands, and we have our first score of the ball game. Seven nothing now, Harrison the score stands, with 3.40 to go in the first half. Now I told you to look out for the passing game as well. Um, Luke Rogers coming into this game, 412 yards, Passing, even though they're one and four, don't let that record fool you. I, I tell people all the time, don't let the first half record fool you. Playoff first get made in the second half. So the league season's gonna tell the tale. For Harrison, they historically do pretty well in Southwest Ohio Conference play. Um, but the 412 yards of rushing combined with 382 yards passing now is his fourth passing touchdown of the season. So he can do he can do it all. Mr. Rogers, this is Mr. Rogers neighborhood here in Harrison, Ohio. He can run, he can pass. He just connected with Brian Guthrie for a 24 yard passing touchdown. My apologies to my producer if I blew his eardrums out on that one. All right, we're getting ready for a kickoff here. I don't know who it was that kicked off, but it's gonna go to Robertson. And Robertson to the 30, he sees a hole that closes very quickly 
42 looked like he had things set to go. Kyle Hayter. They're going to give Cooper Ives, though, the credit for the tackle there. A great run by Roberson there on the kickoff return. That the 25 was the one that initially made the tackle, Cooper Ives. I saw 42 there, my apologies, but he made, he was a very integral part of that stop for Harrison as we now have a first and 10 from the 35. Leach gives it to 30, no, ooh. A little hook and ladder there by Talawanda. Bring Glass, the ball carrier, on that one. The end of that little hook and ladder. As we hit the three minute mark of the second quarter, so this would be the time for Talawanda to respond if they think they're able to. So, looks like 27 got the ball back to Quan Robertson. Tackle will be made by 66, that's Logan White for Redding, as Harrison will take their first time out. A look there at the run. Robertson, a really great run. Again, this Harrison defense is slamming the door shut on them rather fast. I think the longest run I've seen from Talawanda has been about 10, 12 yard run by Roberson earlier. As we already said here with 2.46 to go in the second quarter. You just saw a 24 yard touchdown pass to Brian Guthrie from Luke Rogers. Um, and it's seven nothing Harrison over the Talawanda Brave with 2.46 to go in the half and we get the ball at the 37 yard line as Talawanda comes back out. Great pass there, Caleb Bleach. And the dangerous duo for Talawanda getting back into things. That was Hayden Markham on the play there. So now they're, it is not enough for a first down, so they got the ball at the 44. It's fourth and one. The coach and me would say to go for it on this one. It's very manageable fourth down. But the announcer and me is simply going to enjoy what they do here in this fourth and one. They're loud out here, man. And timeout, timeout called Talawanda. by Talawanda. They're going to talk it over. Glad, glad to have you with us here on ICRC tonight as we get ready for halftime. I am Rob Johnson, your play-by-play your -play guy. And I'm out here in Harrison, Ohio, a beautiful setting, great crowd here, the weather cooperated. Forecast low of about 50 degrees tonight. Um, it doesn't really feel like it yet. And I feel pretty comfortable out here in a in just a short sleeve shirt if you want a comparison of how the weather is out here. So now let's see what happens on fourth down. The crowd is getting into it. They're tough. Oh, they're gonna punt now. Great punt there. Oh, a fumble. Talawanda's gonna get the ball back, it looks like. Great. Talawanda will get the ball back on the muffed punt. Looks like number 16 is... Number 
now 25. Cooper Ives was the one that caught the ball, but it dropped. Sammy Dillon was the one that recovered it for Talawanda, and Talawanda's going to get the ball back, and they, as the great Scott Hansen says, Talawanda is in the red zone. Roberson, one man to beat to the five. Great run there by Robertson. He was almost gone there. Let's see how that muffed punt resulted in Kavalanda getting the ball back. It was 34. Sammy Dillon it dove on that ball. And Harrison's going to take the time to talk it over. We're right at two minutes to go in the second quarter. Talawanda is threatening to tie this game. They have a, they have a second and goal at the five. They're knocking on the door of the Harrison end zone. And for those of you who watch NFL Red Zone Channel on Sundays, this would be a red alert. So we got second and five, no, second and goal now from the five. I'd go for the run here says the coach and me. <laughs> and that's ex exactly where they're gonna go. And Laquan Robertson finishes the job. Touchdown, Talawanda. Great run by Robertson. Fed the hole, number zero. Donovan McCain was trying to knock him down, but it was too late. Touchdown, Talawanda. We got a penalty flag on the play. We have a penalty marker on the play. For Daquan Robertson, he's a senior. That is his fourth rushing touchdown of the season. Talawanda has gotten called for an unsportsmanlike conduct call. Harrison's going to make them go for the kick from, from 15 yards further, which I think would be a good idea. Let's see how strong of a leg Logan Kent has. So now it becomes roughly a 35-yard extra point attempt by Logan Kent. I don't see that. I don't see this very often as Talawanda takes the timeout. Yeah, I don't see that very often. After a touchdown and a penalty, they're being made to move back and attempt the extra point. Yeah, let's see what happened here um, that caused Talawanda to get called for UC. Here's the end of the run that scored the touchdown. There you see Robinson being... Looks like a little bit of extracurricular tacking, tackling and a response by Talawanda. Ref thought that was a little bit too much. Called him for unsportsmanlike conduct. And now, what results is a 35-yard extra point try. A little further than they do in the NFL. I hope you're watching Evan McPherson. This is how it gets done. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. As it sails in, no good. So, so the... Enforcement on the extra point attempt pays off for Harrison, and the score stands with 1.55 to go in the second quarter. Harrison 
off that gamble, maintains their lead seven to six. Talawanda took their final time out, I believe, of the first half. They keep on looking at that automated snow cone machine. I need to go over there at halftime and take a try of it myself. That is making me hungry for some snow cone. All right, let's kick the ball off here off the boot of Nico Mata. As we may have something here off of Brian Guthrie. Slam down on that one. The Olympic slam executed by Jake Francis for Talawanda. A few of the fans, a few of the coaches were arguing for a penalty on that one. I might have agreed with them as he just took him down there. It did look like a pretty good play though. All right, so Harrison will start this drive off first and 10 at the 34. A few more points added to the halftime lead might do them pretty good. Talawanda trying to draw them offside. Or rather, Harrison's trying to drive Talawanda offside. Very good. Kent and Luke Rogers is the keeper. Over to the 40, and he'll burn and he'll run it out of bounds. Smart move by Luke Rogers. Like I keep saying, like I've been saying that at the start, don't let let Luke Rogers out of your sight for a second on the pass or on the run. Great runs by him tonight and that touchdown pass earlier on in this quarter. And a penalty marker is down. Ball start against Harrison, so that five yard penalty is huge now as it goes from second and short to second and medium. So now it's second and six from the 38. Let's see what Luke does here. Luke gonna keep it himself up the middle. Can't find nothing up the middle, so he's gonna go up. So he's gonna go to the right side. He'll pick up the first down, definitely. He'll run out of bounds. Just over the 50 yard line. Penalty markers down as Talawanda took a little bit of exception to that. Penalty flags all over. Looks like all five of them. As we see this run, Luke Rogers finding that hole in the 50 yard line. One and two for Talawanda. Ryan Wright and Jake Francis. Can't be doing that, guys. Keep the extracurriculars to a minimum. A personal foul, personal against, foul the against the Brave. It was already a first down, but now they're getting free yardage. So it's now at the 38 yard line. They got a legitimate shot here to get some points before halftime. 131 to go in the opening half. Rodgers is going to pass it, and he's got his man. Oh, fumble on the play, recovered by Talawanda. That was a great pass. That was a great pass, a great completion by Kyle Hader. Um, but the ball ends up in the hands of the white shirts. He's Powell with the ball and the recovery for Talawanda. So any effort ma made as Mr. Powell there takes the dive towards the ball and the fumble recovery for Talawanda leads to a, Tal a chance for Talawanda to take the lead to win the first half. So what we've lacked in offense this entire game, we've made up for with great defense on both sides. 
This is probably going to turn into which offense has the ball last. I will not be surprised by that. 1.23 to go in the second quarter. First down, Talawanda. It's Braden Glass. Goes and the tackle Braden made Glass. by Cooper Ives for. Tackle on the play by number 25, Cooper Ives. Let's take a look at this one more time. There's a penalty flag on the field. Penalty marker is down. I had seen probably a face mask call. Dead ball, face mask on the offense. The the be a Tech moved the ball back 15 yards on that one. looking to see what goes down here. First, so first down from the 25, it looks like for Talawanda as keeper by Kel Leach, a broken play on offense, taken down out of bounds. Number seven, Kel Leach, the ball carrier. Tackle on the by number 66, Logan White. White. His name's being called as the tackler for Harrison. We'll have second and 19 from the 33. Here's the timeout situation. We got Harrison with one. Talawanda's taking all their timeouts. So the clock is ticking here on Talawanda's first half. As Kale Leach will keep the ball for the 40. Not quite first down yardage from what I see there. Cooper Ives on the stop for Harrison. And the clock will run out on the first half of play. Great yardage, some great plays on defense. Got a touchdown pass, touchdown run by Talawanda. 7-6, Harrison as we end the first half of play. I'll take Hello everyone and welcome to ICRC TV Sports. The Wildcats come up big. Lead off taken, and we're going for the stolen base. Well, pretty exciting, especially if you're a Harrison Wildcats fan. Thank you. Thank you. community. This is ICRC TV. Spending time outdoors has never felt more valuable. Whether it's exploring nature or relaxing in your yard, let's do it responsibly. 
Before going out, check for closures and fire restrictions. Practice social distancing, even when outside and on the trail. Back at home with burning yard debris, keep your pile small. And no matter where you are, be sure to properly extinguish any outdoor fire. Drown, stir, drown, feel. We're all in this together. Help keep our safe places safe. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. On air or online, this is media for your community. This is ICRC TV. Hello, everyone, and welcome to ICRC TV Sports. The Wildcats come up big. Lead off taken, and we're going for the stolen base. Well, pretty exciting, especially if you're a Harrison Wildcats fan. Thank you. Thank you. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Play Eric Amarola's Race Day Mix. Hello everyone and welcome to ICRC TV Sports. The Wildcats come up big. Lead off taken and we're going for the stolen base. Well, pretty exciting, especially if you're a Harrison Wildcats fan. Thank you. Thank you.
Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Play Eric Amarola's Race Day Mix. Hello everyone and welcome to ICRC TV Sports. The Wildcats come up big. Lead off taken and we're going for the stolen base. Well, pretty exciting, especially if you're a Harrison Wildcats fan. Thank you. Thank you. On air or online, this is media for your community. This is ICRC TV. Spending time outdoors has never felt more valuable. Whether it's exploring nature or relaxing in your yard, let's do it responsibly. Before going out, check for closures and fire restrictions. Practice social distancing, even when outside and on the trail. Back at home with burning yard debris, keep your pile small. And no matter where you are, be sure to properly extinguish any outdoor fire. Drown, stir, drown, feel. We're all in this together. Help keep our safe places safe. Hello everyone and welcome to ICRC TV Sports. The Wildcats come up big. Lead off taken and we're going for the stolen base. Well, pretty exciting, especially if you're a Harrison Wildcats fan. Thank you. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. 
That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Play Eric Amarola's Race Day Mix. Hello everyone and welcome to ICRC TV Sports. The Wildcats come up big. Lead off taken and we're going for the stolen base. Well, pretty exciting, especially if you're a Harrison Wildcats fan. Thank you. Thank you. On air or online, this is media for your community. This is ICRC TV. Spending time outdoors has never felt more valuable. Whether it's exploring nature or relaxing in your yard, let's do it responsibly. Before going out, check for closures and fire restrictions. Practice social distancing, even when outside and on the trail. Back at home with burning yard debris, keep your pile small. And no matter where you are, be sure to properly extinguish any outdoor fire. Drown, stir, drown, feel. We're all in this together. Help keep our safe places safe. to get humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. community. This is ICRC TV. Spending time outdoors has never felt more valuable. Whether it's exploring nature or relaxing in your yard, let's do it responsibly. Before going out, check for closures and fire restrictions. Practice social distancing, even when outside and on the trail. Back at home with burning yard debris, keep your pile small. And no matter where you are, be sure to properly extinguish any outdoor fire. Drown, stir, drown, feel. We're all in this together. Help keep our safe places safe. rocket to get humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. 
You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. Hello, everyone, and welcome to ICRC TV Sports. The Wildcats come up big. Lead off taken, and we're going for the stolen base. Well, pretty exciting, especially if you're a Harrison Wildcats fan. Thank you. Thank you. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Play Eric Amarola's Race Day Mix. Hello everyone and welcome to ICRC TV Sports. The Wildcats come up big. Lead off taken and we're going for the stolen base. Well, pretty exciting, especially if you're a Harrison Wildcats fan. Thank you. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Play Eric Amarola's Race Day Mix. Hello everyone and welcome to ICRC TV Sports. The Wildcats come up big. Lead off taken, and we're going for the stolen base. Well, pretty exciting, especially if you're a Harrison Wildcats fan. Thank you. Thank you. And 
we're back here in Harrison, where it has been a defensive struggle. Forget about what I said about the shootout, because we don't have one. We have a 7-6 lead by Harrison against Talawanda. As we get ready to start the second half of play. Um, Rob Johnson here in the press box. And it, I have been enjoying a rather fun defensive game that has really gone the way of what was to be expected. Um, the scoring play for Harrison went off of a touchdown pass, 24 yards with about five minutes to go in the half. Um, that went into the hands of Brian Guthrie off the hands of Luke Rogers. And then for Talawanda, they got their six off the legs of Daquan Robertson. The extra point attempt was no good. It went 15 yards further due to an unsportsmanlike conduct call. So that's where we are at the end of the first half, heading into the second. 7-6 Harrison. Kickoff is... And 20 is carrying the ball for Logan Howard. He fumbled, it looked like he fumbled the ball. Now the ball go goes back to Talawanda. The Talawanda Brave bringing their offense back onto the playing field. By the way, a shout out to the Snowcomb people. Lindsay Snowcomb down here next to the truck. Um, I just had one of their snow cones. Wild cherry and a little pink lemonade mix. Ooh, it was fantastic. A little shout out to them. As the Brave set up now a 25 first and 10. Oh, fumble on that play. That's gonna, that forced Kale Leach into a sack situation there as he gets taken down. Take a look at the, the replay here. It was a bad snap to begin with. As you see there, he had to pick the ball up. By the time he picked the ball up, looks like Brayden Glass was there to provide the sack. So it was only a one yard loss on the play. He got taken down almost immediately after the fumble. They're at the 24. Hand off. Number 32, Will Reed, the ball carrier. Will Reed was the ball carrier. Striker Reverman. That's the first time we've heard his name tonight. We're going to play for Harrison. As we have a third down situation at the 28, third and seven. That was a four yard run by Mr. Reed. We get Mr. Robertson back, Robertson back into play. Juan Robertson had a pretty good first half. He got that touchdown with about 90 seconds left to go in the first half. And there's a, looks like a penalty marker is down to play a game on Talawanda. We don't have, we don't have a play clock here in Harrison to keep it on the field. So it's a little bit hard to determine delay of game, but it definitely looked like it. So that five yard penalty puts the ball at the 23. It's third and 12 for, for Talawanda and Harrison is on D. There, no, that ball went nowhere. Tail Leach. It is a fourth down situation now for the Brave. Looks like they're going to go in punt formation. In the punt for the Brave, number 52, Joe Flair back to return for the Cats. Wildcats are going to send Joe Bank to kick, return the kickoff here, the punt return here. 
He'll get the ball, and he's going to give himself up. It ended up in the hands of Cohen Herring, a freshman, 5'10", 160 pounds, using every bit of it today. All three of their runners, Cole Coops has had a bunch of great runs, Cohen Herring, even Luke Rogers. We told you about Luke. He's just as good on the run as he is on the pass. And the Wildcats will have the ball at the 36. A little adjustment from Derek Rehag, the head coach. Hand off to four, that's Coops. And 34 for Talawanda, Sammy Dillon. There to take him down. So look at that one. Coops had a shot of breaking the hole, but the Talawanda defense closed the hole quick. So set up second and 10, ball at the 36. They're trying to, Talawanda trying to draw Harrison offside. You can see movement. I saw Sammy Dillon trying to move him down. Wouldn't work, here's a handoff. No, Luke Rogers gonna keep the ball, but gain nothing out of it. Maybe number one yard. Luke Rogers, the ball carrier, tackle and play by number 34, Sammy Dillon. Sammy Dillon, the one who's trying to psych them into an offside call, was the one that got tackled there for Tabawanda. So Harrison gets no gain out of that, and we move the ball, and we keep the ball, rather, at the 36. Three minutes have gone down here in the third quarter, and Harrison with the 7-6 lead. I'd be thinking pass here if I were them. And he's gonna do just that. Uh, maybe not, oh, he'll, he'll air it out. Uh, he got a, there was a hand there, maybe not enough for a pass interference call, but definitely good coverage. Logan Howard. Yeah, Will Howard, yeah, well, Logan Howard was there on the coverage for Talawanda as they force uh, Three and out. So a couple of three and outs to begin the second half. There's the punt. Nice high one. Going to take a Harrison hop to the 35. Down, down right there. The Talawanda Brave, 0-5 to begin this season. The Talawanda has gone, has gone down to some very powerful teams in the southwest region of Ohio. Monroe, Redding, Eaton, New Richmond, and Carroll. Carroll Bishop Carroll out of Dayton, Ohio all defeating Talawanda, so some big names defeating Talawanda there. So don't let things fool you there as they start league play tonight here in Harrison. And the ball off to Laquan Robertson. He's got a hole, which is closed quickly. He got taken down by five for Harrison, Jaden Thompson. Nice, that was good, that was a good Coverage for that one. You know, Robinson, if five wasn't there, he probably would have been gone. It was enough for a first down, however, and the ball's going to be at the 49. But Jaden Thompson there to make sure that it wasn't a touchdown, but rather a first down. So see what they do here in first down. Hand the ball off. Here's 34. That's Sammy, no. that's Sammy Dillon playing both ways. I'm sorry, that was 24. I read the jersey wrong. Brayden Glass on that run. 
I couldn't tell who made the tackle there. It was a couple people. But it was a game of seven nonetheless. We put the ball at the 49. Not at the 42, rather. 42. I feel like I'm in Canada. <laughs> All right. The keeper by Kale Leach goes nowhere. Initial coverage was made by the Wildcats. Chris Luce. Chris Luce. They're on the tackle for Harrison. Sets up a third and five from the 44. He's up a third down for the Braves. Third down. Ooh, this Harrison crowd really letting Talawanda have it. Giving Harrison's defense some momentum there. A big long pass is, oh, taken down. Beautiful play there on the incompletion. That was 25 for Cooper Ives. He was looking for his man, Hayden Markham. That's the connection that Talawanda usually goes to. Kale Leach, Kale Leach rather, seven touchdown passes on the season, five of those to the intended target on that play. So it's fourth down now, Harrison's gonna get the ball and two's out there, Cohen Herring. Gonna take a Talawanda tumble, will it be downed? And it's a touchback. They could not, they could not down the ball in time. It hit the end zone. It is a touchback. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give a shout out to our game sponsors once again. We got Cincinnati Incorporated, BMW Plumbing and Remodeling. Beautiful, a beautiful afternoon turned into a gorgeous early. Is no different. The forecast high was supposed to be in the 60s. It's about there right now, and it feels great out here. As we bring the action from Harrison tonight, great crowd on hand, like I keep saying. Really into their Wildcat team. And just as I say that, a flag comes out, false start. Offside against Talawanda, so that'll give Harrison five free yards, get put the ball at the 25 yard line. There have been plenty of moments here as we look at the great, as the panoramic view. I wish there were cameras on the other side of this view so that you could see the big crowd on this side. We're on the Harrison side. Pass complete, number seven. Corey Helms. He was taken down by Ryan Wright. Right. Out of bounds before they could do any damage on that reception. Two yard gain, however, and put the ball to 27. So you can run here on a manageable second <laughs> second down. And I would do it. Looks like they're gonna do just that. Give the ball to, looks like Cole Coops. Number four, Cole Coops, the ball carrier. 65 is being given. Credit for the tackle, that's Caleb Kuykendall. So, and it was two yard gain. They thought they had three, but they got two. Put the ball to 34. Got two tries to gain a yard. It started down. That's the snow cone machine I keep talking about. Delicious, delicious snow cone. If you, if you ever find yourself with one of those, as we got a first down run here. Number four, Cole, Cole Coops. Yeah, I had one of those. I had one of their snow cones at halftime. It was wild cherry and pink lemon, but they also have tiger's blood. They have blue raspberry. They got a couple other flavors and it was delicious. Let me tell you, so it's Lindsay's snow cone stand. If you ever see them, get a snow cone. Get one from them. Do it. 
as we hit first down yardage here from the 33. And Luke Rogers gonna keep it himself. He'll gain a he'll gain some. Tackled by Ryan Wright for the Brave. That was a gain of six, I believe, on the play. Check seven. I'm checking the scoreboard here. This third quarter's moved along rather fast. We got four minutes left in it. We got a 7-6 Harrison lead, but Harrison is driving. Keep it where you're getting the most out of Cole Coops on number that four, one. Cole Coops, the ball carrier. Tackle by number 34. Sammy Dillon on the play for Talawanda. He's made several impressive stops on defense. He's been a one-man wrecking crew on that front side of the defensive line for Talawanda. That'll result third and two. Two tries to make two yards here. Let's see what happens here. And there's Cole Coops again. Finish what you started and maybe get a little more. Get to the 50, not quite. He's being shoved out of bounds. Tell me, Marker did go down. I see 65 out there. That's Caleb Kuykendall. Another look at this. There's Coops. He's taken down. Looks like two is there, too. Jake Francis. The penalty is on. And the penalty is on. Looks like the penalty is on Tabawanda. Chop block is being called. So a lot of yardage going for Ta gone for Tabawanda. And Harrison is going to move the sticks on the penalty. It is a Harrison first down. Now where are they going to put this? They're moving the they're moving the chains rather far. That's all the way to the 40-yard line. Unless my eyes are deceiving me out here. That is a 15-yard penalty. Give the ball to Coops. And Coops. I'll find something. Oh yeah! He is gone! Cole Coops getting it done for Harrison! Great run by Cole Coops. He's had a few of them, a couple of them for first downs, and he finishes the job. A 40-yard touchdown run. Missed a couple of tackles there. Saw one hit the seam, beat the other, and he was gone in a hurry. Cole Coops. And the extra point gives them a four, gives them a 14-6 advantage. That's where the score stands with 2.43 to go here in the third quarter of play. So they put the ball on the ground. One of the keys to the game tonight was the run game of Harrison. Talawanda was unable to stop that. And that resulted in a 40-yard scramble for the touchdown by number four, Cole Coops. If you're in Harrison on Sunday, 5 o'clock, you guys are going to have a homecoming parade. Next week is the homecoming parade, is the homecoming game for Harrison. Tonight, tonight is junior football night. Before the game, even for about an hour before the game started, you had a packed crowd. All these stands were packed. About 600 youth football players and cheerleaders were introduced before the game tonight, and they made the tunnel that Harrison walked out on when we began festivities this evening. So Landon Anderson now made the PAT just now, and he's set to kick it off to Talawanda. So Harrison's run game has come as advertised. Now let's see how Talawanda responds. They almost did well. Braden Glass there with the kickoff recovery 
for Talawanda. Stryker Reverman there to make the stop on the return for Harrison. And so Talawanda will begin their drive. It will begin at the 32 yard line with a first down for Talawanda. Quan Robertson, the ball carrier there for the Brave. There are a couple of Harrison players on the ball for Harrison. Tackle will be given by zero, Donovan McCain. It'll be second and seven from the 32, no, from the 35, rather. Three yard gain on the play for Talawanda. There's a flip to Roberson, and a penalty marker is going to come down as he gets taken down. Number 27, Robertson on the ben Smith on the coverage for Harrison. A penalty marker is down on the field, though. Looks like I got thrown in the backfield. It looks the ball penalty is going to be on Talawanda. And it'll be holding. Pulling penalty called against the Brave. Five yard penalty will move the ball to the 30. Let's see what they got here on second down from the 30. And uh, seven, the keeper, Kale Leach. Kevin Dalio on the tackle for Harrison, a new name for us tonight. Welcome to the land of recognition, Mr. Colin, uh, Mr. Calio, Kevin Dalio. A minute to go here in the third quarter. And Talawanda looking to respond to that touchdown. And a long one to get heaved out. I see 10 there, but I see the ball on the ground and a penalty marker down. And it's gonna be pass interference on Harrison. That'll, that'll spot the ball and give first down yardage. Number five, Jaden Thompson. He was looking for Hayden Markham. The Leach to Markham setup has not worked at all in this game for Talawanda, and that's what's keeping Harrison with this eight point lead. So the pass interference call is gonna move the ball to, well, they haven't spotted it yet, or have they? Okay, they're starting to march. Derek Rehag, the head coach for Harrison, was looking for an explanation, but I think it's a pretty open and shut. You put your hands on somebody and beat the play, that's pass interference. And so Talawanda reaps the benefits of a pass interference call, and the ball goes to the 48. Leach looking for room, can't find any. He'll, he'll just wing it, and he'll wing it well. They're in Harrison territory thanks to the run by Kale Leach. Cooper Ives on the tackle for the Wildcats. Great run there on the keeper. He was looking to pass there and it just didn't work out so he decided to run the ball. Got some pretty good yardage. Got six yards on that. Talawanda, are they gonna let this clock run down? They will. 
Three quarters of the way home, folks. Harrison 14. Talawanda 6. So a rather fast third quarter of play has ended. I'm still catching my breath off that 40-yard touchdown scramble. I'll talk to you about it after the break. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzz warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz drive. All right, we're back. 14-6. Harrison. Palawanda threatening after a pass interference call. Cole Coops with a 40-yard scramble to extend the lead to eight. Midway through that third quarter. As we had the Qu Quan Roberson there Roberson. on that run. The ball carries with a brave pass on the play by number 52. 52 was on there for Harrison. That's Joe Banks. Third and short now for the, Wild, for the Brave. And the Wildcat crowd cheering on their defense. So, so good of cheering that the press box is vibrating a little bit here. Gotta love this atmosphere. I love this atmosphere. And it looks like Talawanda wants to talk it over. So the Reading, no, so the Harrison run game came as advertised. There's only been one real pass for Harrison on record, but they, but the running game of Colt Cohen Herring and Cole Coops, as well as Luke Rogers, has done the job for Harrison. And Talawanda, the game plan was to watch out for Kale Leach, the quarterback, and his favorite target, Hayden Markham. He came in, Leach came into the green. Seven touchdown passes, five of them to Hayden Markham, and they have done an impressive job of holding them to nothing. As Leach fires, throws, nowhere. Too tall, and Hayden Markham was targeted number again. As a whole host of Harrison players came to swarm on him immediately. Another look at the crowd tonight. Great crowd. Student section's lively. Talawanda student section. Fans of the Talawanda Brave came in force from Oxford. And they're going to see a punt return situation here. Oh, bad snap on the punt. And Harrison is going to start deep in Talawanda territory. See who got the Joe Claire was going to punt the ball. Oh, and a bad snap there, and he, Joe Claire was just forced to take the tr take the pain. A turnover on downs and a Harrison first down. A minute gone by in the fourth quarter. Harrison's going to start with really great field position here. And a fumble of their own, Cole Coops recovers the fumble. A short loss there, so let's take a look at this. Just 
And this was a bad snap. It happens. So they're at the 39 after a loss of five. Give the ball back to Coops. Coops finding some room. He'll get a yard or two. Number four, Paul Coops, the ball carrier. Tackle on the play by number one, Ryan Wright. Ryan Wright's going to be credited with the tackle. Sophomore, defensive back. I'll push the ball to the 39 yard, 38. Seven, yeah. Game two. Okay, here's Rogers. He's going to try to find a target, uh, but he's got all that room to run. A penalty marker is down. Not even enough to get the first down marker. Let's see what the penalty marker is on. It will be against the Wildcats. So there you see Luke Rogers trying to the get something but couldn't so he decided to run but it's going to be negated anyway holding against the Wildcats. Still a good run though. So now it's going to be fourth and 13 balls at the 37 so we'll see the punt unit come out. Looks like Harrison's about a couple of defensive stops away from getting the job done tonight as the running game has come as advertised. They're gonna, they're not gonna go for it, are they? Time out, Harrison. They're gonna think this over. It looked like they were gonna go for it. Maybe a wildcat there. Paul Neiman looked like he was going to be under center on that one. They might be thinking punt formation. As we said, head, head coach of the Harrison Wildcats is Derek Rehe. He's been there a couple of years. Gonna try again on this fourth down. Perhaps Paul Neiman back out there under uh, in shotgun formation. Looks like prevent defense coming up for Talawanda. Neiman gonna air it out. He might have something. Knocked down, no flag. Number 20, Logan Howard. Luke Rogers was going to do a little bit of a Harrison special there. If anybody remembers five years ago in Super Bowl 52, they tricked it over to um, Nick Foles. Um, Philadelphia scored a touchdown, went on to win Super Bowl 52 over the New England Patriots. But tonight, no dice for Harrison on that special play. Talawanda takes over. And they're in Harrison territory already, and a flag comes out. Harrison, they got him. They jumped him. One thing I have been noticing is Talawanda's willingness to try to goad Harrison into going off sides, and it has worked. That's about the fourth or fifth time I've seen them goad them, and it actually has worked. It's now Apparently that was a third down play, so we ended up a fourth down for Harrison. They decided to go ahead and punt the ball. My memory lapsed there, TV land. I apologize for that. So now they're in punt formation. Twenty for Talawanda, Logan Howard, and he's finding a big hole. Ball's fumbled, scooped up immediately. 
Saving that one was number 12 for Kalawanda, Heath Powell. Penalty marker is down there. Might be a legal block in the back on Talawanda. It is. Looks like Talawanda a hold pass. A legal block in the back was called. I almost called it pass interference. Good job by the Harrison spotter of saving me there. <laughs> so it'll be Tower on the ball. First and 10 at the 25. They need a touchdown and a two point conversion. Give the ball back to the Quan Robertson. A hole. And he is gone. The Quan Robertson, just like that. And they're a two-point conversion away from tying up this ball game. There is, however, a penalty flag down. And look at that great run by Daquan Robertson. That's a second touchdown of the night if it stands. Quan Robertson, that ball went back and goodbye went, said to Quan Robertson there. A great run there. He might be having offsetting penalties because ref is waving both directions. Something's going on with, on the Talawanda sideline. That's Jay Volker, the head coach. Interesting to see if he. It'd be interesting to see. The referees are giving him a big talking to on the sideline. Shades of David Bell at the ballpark. About the same thing. I don't know what set that off. Must have been during the, must have been during that touchdown run. Talawanda got called for something. I missed what the signal was. Um, but Harrison got called for stuff too. There's a little chippiness at the end of that play. Looks like the Robertson touchdown is going to be allowed to stand. And somebody's just been ejected from this football game. Okay, I'm getting word that they taunted before the ball got in the end zone, so no touchdown. And there, and it's an incomplete. Forgive the dead air for a second. We were trying to figure out what was going on. Apparently, there was a taunting call before the ball went in the end zone, so therefore that touchdown did not count. They do get the ball in the red zone. Oh! Leach's pass broken up, but 
Ooh. This could be something. If my senses have gone, maybe stay quiet for a little bit, TV Land, I apologize. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to figure out what happened there with the last touchdown. I was told taunting was the call, but it was before the ball got into the end zone. So I guess by rule, that ball does not count for a touchdown. It got one of the Talwanda players upset, and I believe he got ejected. And now I'm looking at an in, now I'm looking at the medics on the sideline. It's not going to, it doesn't look good for whoever that is. I'm getting word that it was a touchdown. They threw the flag for taunting. And they, and they were going for two points. And it was in, and the and the two point conversion was incomplete. So the touchdown did stand on that play. That corrects the confusion. And thank you to the spotters in Harrison for letting me do. Let me in on that. Yeah, we're going to look at it for injury here. As we do that, 8.59 to go in the fourth. 14-12 Harrison, and it looks like number 24 was taken down on that. Braden Glass is hurt and hurt badly. He has not moved, and play has stopped. So again, the score stands at 8.59 to go in the fourth quarter. Harrison 14, Talawanda 12. And the great people in the booth let me know what had happened once again. It was a touchdown pass, 75 yard scramble run by Laquan Robertson. Taunting occurred after the play. The touchdown was allowed to stand. They were moved back so far they were moved back far to their way on the two-point attempt. Two-point attempt ended up being no good. So that is what happened, and now we have things straightened out. And now, let's hope Brandon Glass is okay, because now they're bringing, looks like they're trying to bring the ambulance out. Yeah, while we're waiting on the injury, how about we take a break and let this sort out. We'll be right back with you. Player is race day mix. Hello everyone and welcome to ICRC TV Sports. The Wildcats come up big. Lead off taken, and we're going for the stolen base. Well, pretty exciting, especially if you're a Harrison Wildcats fan. Thank you. Thank you. We welcome you back to Harrison. Braden Glass, number 24, took that blow in the sideline he was down for a little bit but he is just fine running around on the sideline just got the wind knocked out of him a little bit still those kind of things have to be scary for a player and the parent and the girlfriend or the aunt or anything else to see their man on the field like that I'm very very glad and thankful to the Lord that we did not have a injury in that one so I'm glad rain glass is okay 
Let's see if, let's see if he goes, comes back in the game. He could be used. Meanwhile, Laquan Robinson just got, just made a really great play on defense. He's been doing some great work on offense. He did, uh, he just made a really great play on defense too, on special teams. So now Harrison will start the ball at the 20 yard line. First down for Harrison. We're getting set here. See what he does here. There's Rodgers. He's going to keep the ball and get stopped immediately. 65 on the play there. Caleb Kuykendall who's been making some big moves on the inner defensive line, was able to shine there with that tackle. Look at the play. And there you see a little bit of hesitation on, a part, on the part of Luke Rogers, and that was enough for Caleb Kuykendall to get in there and stop him. Second down. No, no gain on the play, maybe a loss of one. I see you. second down marker. What happened going back to the line of scrimmage on that last play? Keith Powell stopping Luke Rogers on the keeper. And now it's third down and ten. And Palawanda stopping the stop gonna stop try to stop the pass here. They've done that a couple of times. I've only seen a couple of pass plays that have been successful tonight. Let's see what they do on third down. Big time error. Gonna go for it all, nothing going. Looked like Corey Helms was trying to grab the ball and he was taken down. Oh. They got a fourth down for the Wildcats. Talawanda making a big stop in their move to try to take the lead back and maybe get their first win of the season. Harrison coming in at, with one and four. Not quite the traditional start for Harrison. They're, they're always hanging in there, especially around league time. And it's gonna take a Harrison hop. And while we are waiting for the next play to go on, let's tell you what the TV schedule is because we, very good, we, the dates are obviously wrong, but tomorrow it'll be at three o'clock on channel four. If you got Spectrum, 834, if you got Alta Fiber, then we'll do Sunday at eight o'clock on channel eight. This coming Wednesday at eight o'clock on channel 24, that will be the 28th. And then Thursday the 29th at 10 a.m. on Channel 8. And, of course, this game is going to be on our YouTube channel. It is right now. It's live. So on demand on YouTube channel of ICRC TV. So Dalio, as we get that going there, it's like Robertson was there on the run for Talawanda making the stop was Kellen Dalio. Give it off to Robertson. And he's gonna be stopped short of the first down marker. Ben Smith. And Chris Noose in on the tackle for Harrison to keep them from getting a the first down. They need a bit, and Harrison needs a big stop here. We're ankles deep in the fourth quarter action here. Harrison 14 to 12. A couple of unsportsmanlike conduct calls at the wrong times. 
forced bad extra points. That's what makes the two point difference. Get the ball to thir big 32. And he may have gotten wrapped up and stopped. Will Reed is getting pushed back. We'll see what four forward progress says. And it will be fourth down. They stopped him for no gain on that one. Fourth and about the length of my shoe. And I'm a size 13. Fourth and one at the 48. Now my shoe size is 13, and that's about the length, and that shoe length is about the length of the yards needed. So let's see what happens here. Give it to Roberson. They may have stopped him. They pile up. He may have shoved it forward. Number 27, Dequan Robertson, the ball carrier. Robertson, they're going to unstack, and they may call for a measurement here. Talawana's pointing to uh, their position. Harrison's pointing there. Let's see the stop here. It may have been short. It's like he may have got there. He may have been there. He was there. He may have been close from the replay. We've got Redding, we got Robinson there. It's, it looks like it's short. It looks like it's short. Harrison may have just wrapped him up. Great defensive stop. And they got it, they got it. Harrison holds it. That replay showed it. And I wish we could, and I wish we were able to see that great job by our producer in the truck, Michael, of getting in, getting in the replay there. And it showed right there that Robeson was stopped. Harrison's gonna get the ball back. Woo! I always tell people what wins games, defense. And a big defensive stop there. Big defensive stop there. Let me get my Tony Romo on. <laughs> Michael, my producer in the truck, thank you for letting me see that replay twice. Which showed good news for Harrison, definitely. So five to go here in the game, Harrison with a two-point lead and the ball after that measurement. If Talawanda wants to put a stop to this, they need, well, they need to. If Talawanda wants to win this game, they gotta stop it right here. Rogers going for it all. He catch out of bounds. Oh, that would have been what I was talking about. Brian Guthrie. Brian Guthrie, he's already had a touchdown grab in this game. And they were loading from Bear there, trying to put the dagger in. Second down from the 47. It's getting intense here. It's getting intense. I love it. They're going to keep the ball on the ground. It's going to go to. Two, yeah, Herring, Herring, Tone Herring, Herring, Tone Herring, Herring yeah. Powell, Brings up a third down for the Powell there on the tackle for Palawanda. So this is what I'm talking about. Third and ten from the 49, third and five rather from the 49. If Palawanda has any chance of winning this game, they got to stop them right here. Oh. Talawanda did stop him. Luke Rogers with the uh, keep. Look at this. Oh, a great block there. Who was that on the block? I think it was 20, Logan Howard. And Luke Rogers definitely took a shot. He is favoring his leg. So he's coming out for a little bit. No matter, the punt team's coming out. So with 345 and counting to go in this ball game, we got a little high drama going in as Tabawanda is fixing to get the ball back off this punt. 
looking to try to take the lead away from Harrison. And we have a penalty flag. Harrison called for delay of game. It looks like they were trying to give Luke Rogers a little more time to heal up. That's the type of delay of game calls I would take if I was a coach. No problem with that one at all. Let's go, it only moves it back five yards, fourth and 12 at the 45. And there's the snap and the kick. Beautiful kick, caught, 20. That's Logan Howard. And Logan Howard crosses the 50 to the 40. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, almost good by, almost. Great job by the Harrison special teams there of preventing a good by touchdown. Still, Logan Howard with a beautiful punt return. Let's see this replay. He caught a couple of lucky holes there. The track meet won by number 10, Jackson Williams. Action Jackson there on some serious action. So, but Talawan is going to get the ball back at the, let's call it the 15 yard line. If Harrison wants to, to win this game, they gotta get them right here. This is the stuff defenses are made of. And if you're a defensive coordinator, if you're the defensive coordinator for Harrison, Mr. Drew Banks, pardon me, Lucas Parks is the defensive coordinator, but if, heck, this is the defensive line that's gotta stop him. So Drew Banks, if you're in there, figure out something. Let's go to the 15, first and 10 for Talawanda. Robinson, oh, what's that, Howard? All right, we got a whistle. We got an injury, we got an injury in the field. Looks like number 66, Owen King. May have, may have gotten the wind knocked out of him a little bit. He's trying to get up. He's also holding his leg pretty badly. Uh, this might take a little bit. Owen King. So the correct. <laughs> While we got him though, let's take a moment to thank the people who made this possible tonight. Um, Jason Dudley, our executive. Michael Asher, our producer in the truck. Our director, great job on that double play there. Hey, there's me. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my play-by-play -play tonight. Zach Stewart, the camera operator, great job by him. Mark Price doing excellent. Eric Yawn. Peter Thomas, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom there with the camera. Michael, another great job there on the replay. Blake Carrico was our graphics operator. And thank you for watching ICRC. There's still three minutes left in the game, but we have certainly hope you've enjoyed this incredible game that's fixing to reach the climactic conclusion that it deserves. A 14 to 12 Harrison advantage, but Talawanda is threatening here. They will have the ball at the 13 yard line, second and eight. Three stops and three stops here is what Harrison needs. They're not gonna get it there. They'll get a first and goal out of it. Does Talawanda? Number 24, Braden Glass, the ball Braden carrier. Braden Glass was the ball carrier. Glad to see him back on the field after that injury scare from earlier. Owen Lawson there is being called for credit on that tackle, Harrison calls a timeout. timeout it's crunch time here, baby, 2.54 to go in this game. Harrison up 14 to 12. I'm standing in the press box here. A great view of the field, a great view of what's going on. But I wish I was in the crowd too at the same time, because this crowd has been so lively out here. 
probably one of the best atmospheres that I personally have ever called a game at. And I've seen a lot of great football over the years. Brings up a third down for the Braves. So the third down for the Braves. They were able to stop them, so third and goal, third and four from the nine. Braden. There's big Braden again. Braden Glass. Number 24, Braden Glass, the ball carrier. They're going to bulldoze his way to a first and goal situation. Talawanda. Any has been playing a game of anything you can do, I can do better tonight. We told you that they, they needed to stop the Harrison run. Now it's Harrison that needs to stop the Talawanda run. And forget about high scoring games, they completely ignored that key to the game. But it's actually created a great chaotic, lovely mess here as we end this game. And that is a touchdown. Daquan Robertson has connected for his third touchdown run of the game. All 18 points have been through the legs of Daquan Robertson. He finds the hole, he's in there, and Talawanda has taken the lead with 2.19 to go. Plenty of time for Harrison to respond to this. And they might go, they're, they're gonna go for two here. They try to extend it to a touchdown lead game. Harrison um, will still need a touchdown to, do, to get back in it. And Robertson, is he in? No good. No good, says the side judge. But still, Daquan Robertson has had a heck of a game tonight. He is responsible for all eight of Talawanda's points. So let's just say with 2.19 to go in the game, it's Daquan Robertson 18, Harrison 14. All right, I digress. It's Talawanda 18, Harrison 14. But Mr. Robertson's again, Here's to you, Mr. Robertson. All 18 points are yours, buddy. Harrison, though, has plenty of time to respond as we get Talawanda players trying to get their classmates in the stands involved in this. The atmosphere is just getting tenser and tenser about a second. I love it. Kickoff, 89, Nico Mata. Coverage there, a little ping pong, a little pinball action going there. Looks like 18 was on the return, Brian Guthrie. Brian Guthrie's had a pretty good game too. He scored that first touchdown for Harrison earlier in the second quarter. They need him now more than ever if they want to get, if they want to pull this one off. 2.13 to go in the ball game, folks. Talawanda 18, Harrison 14. High drama, here we go. Two minute drill coming in for Harrison. Rogers getting everybody together. Here's Rodgers, he's gonna keep it. And good call by Luke Rodgers. He's gonna get the first down and get out of bounds. That's good time management. They only burned eight seconds off the clock there. That'll be a first down from the 41. Another look at the snow cone stand. This weather, it's supposed to, it was supposed to be chilly earlier, but this weather's kept pretty nice, a little balmy for 60 degrees. Still come machines out as Luke Rogers, he's 
He's done it again, folks, and this time with a 40. I think about snow cones when I miss big plays. <laughs> Roger's gimping a little bit. He got hit pretty hard on last drive, but it's not harming him right now as he made that big play. He was able to stay in bounds with a couple extra yards the game, got back out of bounds. So only 22 seconds have gone off the clock and a penalty marker down. A penalty marker is down. You gotta see who that was. Oh, the ball went back. It went back. I don't. They got called. They got called. I don't know what it was. They gotta try again. But a big tackle there. Twenty-three. DJ Morris Williams. He does. Oh, he tripped them up right there. I believe holding was the call against Harrison that tips him back. Rogers is going to try again. Pressure, they got him. 65, yes sir, 65. Caleb Kuykendall. That's going to set up third and 15 from the 25. A minute to go. They got to make a big play here. Looks like blitzing all day for Talawanda. Rogers is going to air it out. Look at this. Oh, too tall. And with 50. Hank Rodert there, the intended receiver. So now. Look at this, this is a great pass play. Just way too tall, nobody touched. Hank wrote it there. So now, it's up Far Creek without a paddle for Harrison. They need a first down here for any chance. And they're gonna, and Talawanda's gonna take a timeout here with 54 timeout, seconds Talawanda. to go. And a four point lead. And this is OK Corral last standoff time. And ASAP 9-1-1 for Harrison. They need, a first, they need to get 25 yards to have a chance. This has turned into a, a very exciting game. It was 7-6 Harrison to begin the third quarter. And it has evolved into an 18-14 Talawanda lead. All 18 points coming off their running back, Quan Robertson, the senior. Last stand for Harrison. Looks like a little prevent while we're at it. They need 25 yards. They are in trouble. Here's Luke Rogers. Airing it out. Fires, throws. Scrap right for the ball, it, it gets taken down. Number six, Demetrius Morris Williams with the interception. And Talawanda looks like they're about to get away with their first win of the year as they open up Southwest Ohio Conference play. And what a big win in front of the stand up only crowd here in Harrison. But don't anyone give Harrison even a shred less credit because they played hard tonight. But it is a, it's gonna be a tough loss for the Wildcats as they'll fall to one and five. Talawanda's about to improve to one, one and five. 
And they're in victory formation. Couple of kneel downs is gonna do it. Daquan Robertson has proven tonight to be the Wildcat killer. All 18 points came off three touchdowns by Daquan Robertson, obvious player of the game candidate. We don't officially have one, but I'm calling it. And the kneel down coming to end the game and give Talawanda their first victory of the year. The Talawanda Brave defeat the Harrison Wildcats tonight, 18-14. Great job by both teams. This was a great defensive effort, and the Brave are starting to celebrate with the cheering section as they should. The first victory of the 2022 campaign for the Talawanda Brave. They rise to one in five. Harrison falls to one in five, but don't let the effort of Talawan of Harrison fool you. This was an incredible game tonight. An incredible game. Talawanda got away with, with it in the end. 18-14, the final score. Man, this was fun to call. Incredibly fun to call. Ooh. Tough loss to swallow for the Harrison Wildcats. The Braves are going to wave goodbye to their competition. The two head coaches meeting in the sideline, uh, in the center. There was a little controversy at the end of things. But the Brave are going into, back to their locker room after a big win. And after going down to five teams that could end up in the playoffs themselves, they finally get it done to start to get in the win column for 2022. And they had to fight to get it. And they put the ball in the hands of Jaquan Robertson most of the night. And they were able to stop the three-headed rushing monster of Luke Rogers, Cohen Herring, and Cole Coops. And so that ends the tale from Harrison High School. Rob Johnson is signing off now. It has been an honor to be here tonight. Don't forget to catch the game on the dates, on the men on YouTube, on our YouTube page. And I'm going home. It's been a pleasure, guys. Take care.